begin at 6 o'clock with Carpinteria's, uh, Carpinteria School's former superintendent. She was ousted last year and no longer works for the district, but she will still get her full year salary and benefits anyway. News Channel 3's Elise Martinez joins us live with a reaction. Elise. The former superintendent reached a deal with the education board and she won't work at all this year, but she's still going to get paid. Former Carpinteria Unified School District Superintendent Micheline Miglis was making $172,000 a year. Our partners at Newshawk report her separation agreement guarantees, though she lost her job, she still gets paid her full year salary and health benefits. Maureen Foley Claffey is running for the CARP School Board, and she thinks that's too much. It's a colossal waste of public funds. Uh, we were told in August by the board that there was barely enough money to hire a new transitional kindergarten teacher, um, which would have been around, they were saying around $80,000. And now they're, you know, having to pay out, we don't even know how much yet, hundreds of thousands of dollars for a new superintendent. Miglis left abruptly in August after working for the district for one year. No reason has ever been given for her departure. It was disrespectful to the teachers. Um, as well, I think the process itself was extremely opaque and wasn't conducive to a kind of open public trust between the public and the board. She calls the incident a debacle that's taking the attention away from children in the district. I wish that the focus were on the children and the great teachers that we had and, and not our sort of backroom dealings with HR. I asked the school board for a comment. The school board president said it's a personnel matter and is strictly confidential. Live in Santa Barbara, Elise Martinez, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you.